Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 36. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 3, Section 3.5, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet Memory Trick, and we want to look at an awesome trick for figuring out which formula to use when you're doing percentage formulas. Now, we know that sometimes we're solving for parts, sometimes for rate, sometimes for um, the base part and an increase decrease problems. Sometimes we're solving for n, sometimes we're solving for begin or rate. And I got to show you a great trick, and this is in the textbook, right? See this picture right here? This is great because here's the trick if you want to solve for part, you simply put your hand over the part and then you say, oh, I have to multiply these. If you're solving for rate, you simply cover up the rate because that's what you're solving for. And this means, oh yeah, divide part by base. And if you're solving for base, you simply put your hand over it. And that says, oh yeah, the formula is part divided by rate. And this will work for um, increase decrease problems too. We know that the end is the part, the begin is the base. So if you're solving for end, you simply cover it up and it's begin times rate. If you're solving for begin, oh, n divided by rate. Similarly, if you're doing the rate, you say n divided by begin. So these are memorization tricks. And what's so handy about these is if we look at problems like this in the real world or on a test, you're not going to be told that it is solve for part, solve for base, solve for end, right? You're just going to be given this problem. So let's see three examples now, or four examples here. Now, all four of these, we're going to see how to use this um, little diagram here. We're not going to do word problems proper. We're just going to see if we can quickly pull out the relevant data from each problem and then use this to solve it. All right, so our four problems, we're just going to do one, two, three, four. Read the problem, extract the data, and see if we can get this to help us. All right, if your percentage grade on a 200-point test was 91%, how many points did you get on the test? Well, right off the bat, um, this doesn't look like an increase or decrease problem, so I'm just going to put rate, rate, and I know it looks like it's 91%. 91%. Uh, if your percentage grade on a 200-point test, OK, so that must be the base, right? Base. 200 points. 200. Right. So here's how we use this. We have rate and base. And so that means what? We're solving for parts. So we cover that up, and that means multiply. So your points, your points. equals this times this. 182. Right, uh, and then uh, something like that. All right, so that's how we did that. Let's look at our next one. If you got 182 points on a 200-point final test in your accounting class, what was your percentage grade? All right, uh, your points. You know, your in points. here I could have put um, this was the part, right? So your points. Part. This will be part here. Part. So it looks like we got 182. So if you got 108 points on the 200 point final test, okay. So the the total points would be the base, 200. Right, and so that means we have a part and a base. So when we look here, we have the part and the base. So that means we sol we're solving for rate. And the, the problem says, what is your percentage grade? So it's going to be part divided by base. So uh, the part divided by the base. So we used our memorization trick to uh, figure out what the formula is, right? So here we did, um, I'm just going to do base times rate. That was our formula here. We did uh, part divided by base. We can see that there. Now let's do our next one. If your percentage grade in the international business class was 75%, and your score on the test was 225, what was the maximum number of points possible on the test? Well, let's just put our data here. So your percentage grade, so we have a, and I don't see that it says increase or decrease. 
So it doesn't look like a uh, increase or decrease problem. I don't see those words here, all right? So the percentage grade was 75%. That'll be the rate. And your score on the test. OK, so that's like the part, right? So our score was 225. So all we did was look here, read it, and put our stuff. So now let's come over here. So we have rate and part. So we're trying to solve for base. That's the original possible maximum points on the test. Oh, so our formula is part divided by rate. And this will be, there's our formula. This is the base. Uh, max points, right? So we go equals our part, oh, divided by our rate. So it looks like it was 300. All right, now one last uh, problem here. If your business made $125,000 this year and this year's sales were 25% increased over last year's sales, what were last year's sales? OK, so this has the word increase or decrease or went up, down, or something like that. So it looks like an increase. Now, you could use this. You just got to remember that part is end. But here, I'm going to use this. All right, so let me put some numbers down. It looks like, so I have rate of change. That's how much it went up or down. So rate of change, and that was 25%. Woohoo! our sales went up by 25%. Now, as we know from earlier videos, we can always get the rate. That's R-A-T-E, not rate of change, by adding. So I say equals 1 plus the rate of change. If this was negative, like a decrease, I would have entered it as a negative, just like we saw in earlier videos. And uh, it would give us the right rate. So the rate is 125. So if your business made $125,000 this year, OK, so we know this year's. And remember, this is going through time, increase or decrease. So this year would be end, right? And this year's were 125. I'm not going to add any formatting, or maybe I will, but I'll have to increase the something like that. OK, and so if your business made 100, we got that number there. We got the rate of change. We got the rate. So what were last year's sales? Ah, so last, last year's sales. Oh, and that's going to be begin. So let's see if we can figure out our formula. So I'm going to look here. We have end and rate, so I want begin. So I'm going to cover this up. And now I'm going to say, oh, the formula is n divided by rate equals n divided by rate. And there's our uh, answer. All right, so this video, we just saw how to take examples of our four different types of uh, percentage form situations we might have. We saw how to use this great little diagram here. Remember, if you're solving for the thing, you just cover it up and it tells you what to do. And it can be done for increased and decreased problems also. All right, see you next video.